Hi, I'm Ben Sigiono, and I'm here to show you how I created this painting on multimedia from this photograph. Enjoy. It's been a while since I did my last artwork, so I'm out of practice. I want to start again with a small project, which means colored pencil. However, colored pencils are good for fine detail, but they're not good for complex backgrounds. So I also want to use watercolor for the backgrounds. Next, I wanted to try watercolor pencil. It's the kind that will dissolve with water. It can blend into both the watercolor paint and the colored pencil. After doing some research, I chose the Derwent Intense brand of watercolor pencil. Because I'm mixing media, I would need paper that can handle wet watercolor and dry pencil. The paper I used was Canson XL Mixed Media. I also wanted to try a new subject. I've never done a painting of a dog in action. Luckily, someone posted a photo of a dog that has won 90 awards in agility contests. The owner provided several photos for me to reference. I chose the one where the dog was jumping over a bar with all four feet off the ground. I didn't want to copy the background exactly from the photograph. I wanted to give context to the subject by showing the equipment used in the agility contest. First, I sketched the dog with an HB lead pencil using a Pentel Graph Gear 1000 mechanical pencil, so I don't have to constantly resharpen the lead. I sketched the foreground bars too. No shading, just a line drawing. Next, I cover the dog and foreground with frisket film. This blocks the paint that I will use for the background. I trace the boundary of the dog and the jumping bars on frisket film. Then I cut the film in the shape I traced and stick the cutout to the paper. Using large brushes, I paint thin layers of green for the grass and blue for the sky. I add the field equipment in the back with pale gray colors. I did use a toothbrush to create a splatter pattern for the grass, but later I decided more even green is better visually. When the background paint is dry, I carefully remove the brisket film using a razor blade. Unlike canvas, paper can tear easily. I start laying a light gray wash for the white fur and a yellowish brown on the sable fur. Then I paint the shadows, ears, eyes, mouth, and darker fur areas with a fine brush. I fill in the rest of the dog with a mix of sable and brown where the fur is not white. This is where I use the Inktense watercolor pencils, followed by Prismacolor colored pencils for the details. I also color the jumping bars this way. Over the base of the watercolor, I add more detail using the watercolor pencil and even more detail using the colored pencil. To make the white areas stand out, I use brush and pencil, titanium white powder dissolved in gamosol. I use a fine brush to paint the white highlights. For the finest black areas, I use a Faber-Castell black ink pen. I also use this pen to sign my work.
I wasn't very happy with the toothbrush batter technique or the grass, so I went over it with several washes of green, and I made some corrections with using watercolor pencils. See the finished worked on ben sujono .pixels.com. Stay tuned by liking my Facebook page and subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching.